Yeah, and I also want to mention for the record, I've signed up as a participant in the program because I want to find out more about, you know, my, you know, health history and future health history. Because right now I'm in my 40s and I want to know like, well, what will I be more at risk for if I've lived to be in my 50s and 60s and 70s? And also like what you mentioned earlier, as far as like certain you know, like you said, European, but one of the myths I've heard for years, me being an African-American man, is that African-Americans always have high blood pressure. And that's just been like some tossed, you know, tossed around myth. And I'm very interested in how the studies go. And I've been very encouraged by the number of people that's of color that look like me, they have signed up in the program as well. So I think that's, you all done a great job of trying to spell that myth. Over I certainly hope so. Yeah, you know, one of the, the things that we've been working very hard on, and I mean, this is true nationally, and it's certainly true regionally, is engaging people of diverse backgrounds to participate um, for the reasons that um, you were just saying. And, um, you know, that's accomplished not just by telling people, well, you really need to do this because otherwise we're not going to have information about um, your genetic makeup or other um, factors that will help us um, offer the kind of precision medicine. Much of it actually involves listening and understanding um, what people's concerns are. And um, then being able to address those in a way that people feel comfortable with participating in the research. So, you know, our job, I feel is not like, you know, to go sell this to different communities and to, you know, try to convince them why they should participate. It's rather to listen to them and understand what are the concerns that they have. Whether those concerns are privacy, you know, long periods of time where um, trust was not earned by the research community. And so it led to a, um, distrust that you can really easily understand the roots of. Um, and the question is, can you hear those concerns and then um, be able to reassure people that they have been heard and that um, their kind of concerns are being kind of heeded in how the program is put together? And I'll tell you that uh, from the very start, the All of Us Research Program has involved um, members of the community not just to provide opinions, but to actually be engaged in designing the study and in um, carrying out you know, every step of the process. Um, so they're involved in, in the committees that um, generated the way the, um, the program would be conducted. Um, and they're involved in pretty much every level of um, management of the program as well. And I think that's been a really important point to make people kind of realize that um, this is being done with participants as partners, not as subjects. And um, that's a very important distinction, um, which is really at the core of the philosophy behind the All of Us Research Program. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.